Now look at all those little dots. Yeah, what do you what do you see? <laughs> These are all the satellites, I'm assuming. Those are just Starlink satellites. Those are just Starlink. Yeah. Okay, wow. And astronomers are getting kind of worried about this. So SpaceX has put well over 7,000 Starlink satellites into space since 2019. Mm -hmm. Their goal is to have more than 40,000, and they're not mm -hmm. the only ones who want to do this. So this is one of those like proper hockey stick charts. It shows the annual number of objects launched oh, wow. into space. Yeah, wow. And this is just the beginning. So China has two projects planned that would add at least 20,000 more satellites, Amazon wants their own network, the EU, AT&T, if they all get their way, there would be mm. hundreds of thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit. I mean, the thing that's a little misleading with these graphics is like the dots are not to scale. Of course. But we are talking about like a massive amount of stuff orbiting the Earth. And these projects are going to get the whole world online but they bring some challenges. SpaceX has been pretty good about working with astronomers to try to reduce the reflectivity of their satellites, but a group of radio astronomers published a letter saying that the second generation Starlink satellites are leaking 30 times more radio waves than the first generation. Hmm. The thing that I think is kind of ironic is that these networks are called satellite constellations, which mm -hmm. like, if astronomy becomes harder and harder, I feel like that's just an unnecessary jab at the people trying to look at the real stars.